Welcome back artists. Now that I have a couple ideas of what I would like to do on my snowflake, it is time to work with clay. I have my plans out. I'm gonna scoot them up here so I have a little bit more room to work. And then I'm going to gather a few things. You'll want some tools that you're gonna to use to press in designs, a piece of clay that's rather small, and then a pattern that's gonna help you get your lines on the circle symmetrical. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ball of clay and you're going to make it into a nice smooth ball. I like to roll it in my hands. Some people prefer to put it on the table. However you want to work it, the goal is to make sure that you get rid of all of these little wrinkles. If you have wrinkles on here, you can use your finger to, as an eraser to get rid of them or you can continue to roll it in your hands to get rid of them as well. However you do it, you wanna make sure that there are no wrinkles before you start to flatten your clay. Now I'm going to just put it on the table and I'm gonna use the meaty part of my palm and I'm just gonna tap it down a couple of times. Then I'm gonna flip it over to make sure it doesn't stick and I'm gonna keep tapping it two or three, maybe four times and then flip. Now, as I flatten it, I wanted to try to make sure that I'm keeping it into a circle shape. And the goal is to make this about pinky width. So this is about the width that I am looking for for my clay. Now I wanna double check and make sure that my edges are smooth. You can see how there's a couple little wrinkles here. Not a big deal, that happens when you stretch clay. You're just gonna take your finger and just roll over it to smooth out those wrinkles to make them go away. And then once you have all of the wrinkles smoothed out, then you're going to use a wooden stylus and you're gonna write your name and class code on the back. Remember when we're writing in clay, we are using soft pressure You want to work on rubbing off those wrinkles or those crumbs. You see how they sort of stick out a little bit. You want to rub those off gently and make sure that you can still read the name and class code. Then you're going to flip this over onto the pattern, the template. This is going to help you put it in the center. So I want to find the circle and sort of round it up there as best I can. Mine doesn't fit perfectly on the circle. But what I wanna do is make sure that the spaces on this circle are even. So I don't wanna have it way down here where it's on the line here, but then it's off the line up here. We wanna put it in the center the best that you can. You're gonna use this as a guideline to draw your line. So I'm gonna start here, I'm going very lightly, and I wanna to go to this other line over here. Then I'm gonna, I can rotate my clay to make it easy for me to make my marks. And the whole goal here is to work on evening out the spaces so that the snowflake looks symmetrical. I have chosen to put a letter in the middle of my design. And my letter is a Y. Sort of guess where this is gonna go. And then I want to smooth this out so I don't have a line going through my letters. So I'm just using my finger as an eraser to get rid of those lines. And then I wanna make sure that the bottom is on it correctly. Then I'm gonna push down the stamp. And then when I pull it up, you can see the letter Y. Now I can go back and look at my design. So it looks like I put circles on each of my lines. So now I can take the end of a wooden stylus and just press it in. And I'm gonna do this on all of my lines. I want to, again, use gentle pressure so it's not too deep, but deep enough so that you see a design. It looks like I have some V shapes. So I'm gonna take this tool here and I'm going to create a V going out. So again, I'm pressing in a V shape. And I'm doing my best to do the same thing on every single one.
and I'll just keep going till I get all of the things in here. I'm noticing that I might not have enough room for all of my designs on here. That's okay. But I can enjoy and have fun with the things that I'm adding.